What's up everyone, it's Q from Retro Q Gaming and I finally, after much, much research and deliberation, I finally decided on what the full new 2016 Q Beast build is going to be. So real quick, I'll get it off the top, is we're going with the i7 5960X, the reason for that is, well there's several reasons for it really, one kind of outperforms the 667, no, 6 yeah, 6700K, there you go. I was trying to work that out in my head as I was saying it. It pretty much outperforms the 6700K in like basically every single way. It's got more cores, which is going to be very, very useful when it comes to video rendering, as well as Grand Theft Auto, because GTA 5 on PC actually supports, uh, like, well, whatever way you want to look at it, 8 or 16 core chips, to, you know, depending on what way you want to look at it. But the main thing is it's for the, the video stuff. One thing I also need it for is that even the 6700K only has 16 PCI lanes, PCIe lanes, I should say, whereas the i7-5960X has 40, 40 lanes. So that'll, I, I would say that'll come into play more importantly now in a minute, but I've pretty much just given it away. But anyway, we'll stick with that. So I'm going to, I'm going with the, the 5960X. I know it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. It's worth it, if you ask me. Um, I know that I've seen the performance benchmarks. I, I know what I'm getting into, and I know what it's specifically used for and why it's used for it. And yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the chip for me. So I'm getting, I'm to go with that naturally, I need a cooler and all. I'm not going with water cooling. I know most people are going to freak out at that, and I should probably go for water cooling. I was debating, I don't want to jump straight into water cooling on a new beast like that. I was debating just modifying what I have now and sticking a water cooler on that as a test see how I, I handle it and see how I, I can get with setting it all up and doing all that shit and then if it worked out well I could possibly get it for the new one but as it stands right now that's not the priority so we get the cooler for it. yeah blah 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 that's all standard I'm gonna get an Asus Pro an Asus Rampage 5 I think it's the Pro model uh, I, I had it open there a second ago, but there's just so many of them I forgot the, the exact one. I think it's the Pro. Uh, it's the Socket 2011 V3. It's basically the, the one that's perfectly designed for, for this chip. So the main reason I'm going for that is it's got the X99 chipset, which is basically required for what I want to do. Uh, it's obviously Socket 2011 V3. And the key thing is it's an EATX board. It's an extended ATX sized board because it's got four PCIe, 60, uh, not 16 speed, but not not the tiny ones. You know, it, it they call them basically like PCIe X16 or PCIe 8, whatever you want to call it. Whereas it's not one of the, the little, it does have the, the one speed lane ones on it as well, but that's not why I want it. It's got the four, which is the four main ones, which is what I need. It's, uh, because it's an EATX board, it literally has all the space for the four GPUs, and just it, it, yeah, it's got the four slots and physically has the four space. It's a great board. I've looked up a lot of stuff about it. It pretty much has absolutely everything I need. It's gonna need the DDR4. You know, fair enough. I, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm okay with that. It supports up to 64 gig eight slot. Yeah, I. I know that's too much for what I need. So, yeah, I currently have some of the pieces already. I have my case, my Corsair 900D uh, EATX e sized case, so it's the extended one. It's got 10 expansion ports at the back, which is perfect for what I need. It's got so many spaces for extra long graphics cards, fans, all that shit. So many hard drive and solid state drive cases or in enclosures inside it. And I think it's got four ports for four external ports for uh, optical drives. I'm only going to need one. I'm just going to stick the, the Blu-ray drive that's in my current computer into that. So I know I could... Well, actually, I'll just go over one or two things. I, I'm going to have to get a 1500-watt uh, Corsair power supply. There's one specific model that comes in 1500-watt. I'm going to need that as well, fully modular, blah, blah, blah. Not really much to, you know, to say about... Uh, about a power supply at least, you know, when, when you're talking a very specific power supply, we all know the deal. Uh, I have, sitting in the other room as well, I have a Corsair Neutron XT 480 gigabyte solid state drive. I'm going to use that one for my, what are they called? Uh, I'm going to use, it's, it's obviously for my operating system, it's going to be for the, the key 
key programs and all on there as well. I'm also going to buy. I don't. I have the. I have the 480 gig solid state at the moment. I'm going to buy the 960 gig version of that drive as well. I'm going to have that. The 960 gig is going to be just for games and game installations, and then I'm going to throw in. I don't know, like 20 terabytes or or something something ridiculous of just mechanical hard drive storage, literally just for massive storage reasons. So it's going to be for all my downloads, all my extra saved videos after they're all done and uh, just archiving stuff. And it just, just so I can eat, like there's more than enough space. I can literally just throw, buy a couple of five terabyte hard drives. They're just, they're so cheap nowadays. It's just silly not to use them as storage. And for things that don't require lightning fast storage and lightning fast access, yeah, it's fine. I also have 32 gig of Corsair, oh, what's it called? Corsair Dominator Platinum series, which is, yeah, 32 gigabyte DDR4, 2600, uh, 2666 megahertz. Uh, yeah, that's to go with, it's, it's in... It's in four sticks of eight gigabytes, so that's pretty much sorted. Uh, I, I didn't need to go all the way and go crazy with the, the 64 in eight sticks, so I just said, fuck it, I'll go with 32. It's pretty much, yeah, every, everything I need. So we're, I've, uh, that's pretty much all the main stuff. I've teased, if you will, kind of pretty much given it away a few times by now, but basically I've already semi talked about the main attraction for all of this stuff i know some people will say the main attraction will be the 5960x but for me the main attraction is what's going to be here so the reason why i got that chip and the reason why i got that motherboard and the reason why i got that case and that power supply is i'm going to stick in four motherfucking gpus now as it stands currently i'm going with well, technically, I'm going with a 980 Ti quad SLI setup. Now, that's only currently. I say cur I say that because if I was to have the money and buy all those graphics cards and all those parts right now or tomorrow or whatever you want to say, if I was to do that right now, I'd get I'd get the the four 980 SLIs, uh, four 980 Ti's and quad SLI them. Now, however. Because so much of this computer is expensive, and I only have, at the moment, the case, the 480 gig solid state drive, and the RAM, by the time I actually save up and afford the CPU, the motherboard, the PSU, the extra solid state drive, and four GPUs at the same time, there's a reason why I'm, I'm going with the four GPUs at the same time, I'll get into that in a second, but the main reason I... Uh, by the time I can afford all that, I'm going to buy the chip and the motherboard and the PSU and the other solid state drive. I'm going to buy them, I would say weekly, but I get paid every two weeks. So I'm going to buy like one every two weeks. So that's that's fine. That's all taken care of and out of the way. But by the time I can afford all four GPUs, I'm expecting the announcement of maybe the new, the new NVIDIA series. Hopefully the, the 10 series or whatever they'll call them. Chances are with NVIDIA, they'll probably change the, their naming convention. I know, I remember back in the day, we had the like 8800 series. And, you know, you had the like 7800s and then you had the 8800s and then you had the 9800s. And then instead of going to 10,000 series, they rebranded the whole thing as like GTX 160 and GTX 180 and all. So I'm expecting them to do that again with this next series, that the Pascal series we have coming out. So that's... Hopefully, in my opinion, that's going to be beast. It's got, it's got the new Pascal architecture. Obviously, it's going to be hopefully at least be proper DirectX 12. We know the the 980, the 980 Ti, and the Titan X were fake ass DirectX 12 and run like pieces of shit under current DirectX 12. So we all know that that's kind of out at the moment anyway. And hopefully the new Pascal ones are going to be like that. It's also got the, the new RAM style. It's basically the NVIDIA's take on the, the stacked RAM thing. I can't remember what it's called. I think the standard one is called like H HDM or HBM or something like that. I can't remember what it is. And NVIDIA have their own variant of that, which they're going to use on their new Pascal cards. So by the time I can actually afford all four of those, it's hopefully there will at least be an announcement of, of those. Even if they're not currently available at the time, just an announcement would do me because that way I could hold off another, you know, couple of weeks or another month or two and all blah, whatever. So 
that's pretty much what I want to go. I want to go with, you know, I'll go with it. Whatever the top of those is, I'll buy four of them. If they come out straight away with a 1080, we we'll just call it 1080, I'll buy four 1080s. You know. If they come out with fucking four Titan X10s, I'll get some of those. Whatever the best card is at the time when I can afford it, I'm going to get four of those motherfuckers. So that's one of the reasons why I needed the CPU because it's got 40 lanes so I can run every GPU at 8x. Uh, actually, I can run one at 16x and then the rest at 8x if I really wanted. There was one other thing. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Now, the main reason, I there's two reasons I want to save up and wait to be able to buy all four GPUs at once before I actually buy them. One reason is I can be very lazy and I can get complacent very easy. So chances are what I would unfortunately possibly end up doing would I'd buy one GPU. Let's just say I buy a nine. No, let's say I buy, yeah, let's say I buy a 980, right? Oh, no, 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 let's say I buy a 1080. Let's say, all right, I get a 1080. I stick it in. I turn on the machine, I start beasting everything as as you'd expect, you know. And then I think, well, you know, this is good enough for the moment. And then I start spending money on other shit. And then I eventually just keep putting it off to the point where by the time I should I could or should just buy another 1080, I just probably wouldn't bother and I just hold on and I'm 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 a fucker like that. So that's one thing I want to avoid completely. The other thing is I don't want to get to the point where I can buy one 980 or one. That's it. Yeah, we call it one 980. This this is why I don't want to be able to buy a one 980. Stick it in now. Maybe buy a second 980. A little couple of months down the line or a couple of weeks down the line. I I can afford like a 980 every every payday. So I mean, we'll just for argument's sake say every every two weeks or every four weeks, whatever. And I don't want to get to the point where I stick in a second 980 Ti, and then the 10 series comes out. And then I'm stuck. I've got two 980 Ti's, which I know, fair enough, I, I could, are more than enough, more than powerful-ish enough, and I would have not much of an issue selling them if that was the case, but it's just more effort than it's worth, and, you know, it's, you're going to lose a little bit more money in the process as well. Whereas if I wait and buy all four at once, uh, by the time I have all four, you know, the 10 series might be announced, or we go from there, it's... Yeah, it's pretty much it. So it's mainly to just kind of cover myself. I can just go big that way. Uh, it's not the easiest in the world for me to buy PC parts over here. Like, I'm literally just buying from Amazon because... Well, I'm buying from Amazon and other online retailers. Uh, online retailers for PC parts in Ireland are absolute shite. You look at anywhere like uh, Dabs. If, if you know any of these websites, you'll understand. You look at places like Dabs, Complete uh that's that's basically it that's basically all we have over here so i literally just have to go from amazon so other than that well amazon overclockers uh, well i'm not going with overclockers anymore they they fucking um kind of like half screwed me over when i bought my rog swift uh, from like a year and a half ago um oh yeah i'm keeping the rog swift the 1440p g-sync 144 hertz i'm keeping that i know with all that power i could go to 4k i'd rather max everything out at 1440p and go for ridiculous frame rates uh, at the moment stuff could change in the long run but yeah uh, and other places like scan.co.uk i'll i'll be using scan i know i personally can't get my power supply from amazon so i'm gonna have to get it from scan so that's a uh, yeah, basically that's I can I can pull it uh, off there. It comes in handy. It's not the easiest, but it's not also very hard to, or it's not the easiest, but it's not exceptionally hard to get PC part like individual high end PC parts over here. Simply because I online retailing is just so easy. But the fact that I can't go anywhere and buy them over here just kind of makes it that little bit harder. But it, it what makes it even harder on top of that is before I, I got this job in GameStop, my last job, I actually worked in a place, okay, they, they made, they sold like TVs and PC parts and stereos and cameras and all, but I mean, I was hired there specifically for the PC section, and that's how I built my old PC and all that shit, so it was, you know, the fact that I used to work in, in that exact field, and then now i i don't and the recession is all over the place and i have to order online and all it's a pain i'm rambling anyway and jesus christ this fucking video has gone on way way longer than expected but basically that's the progress update and the beast as, as it is at the moment next up i mean i get paid this coming thursday 
I'm, I'll probably buy like the PSU or maybe the the extra solid state drive. Hell, I might even buy the chip. Who knows the the CPU? I I we'll we'll see how it goes. We'll see exactly how much I get paid. I'm I'm expecting to get paid a fucking bomb. Uh, we'll see how much I get paid and what I'm feeling like when I actually get paid. So, yeah, possibly update on there. It, I'll update like individual pieces on Twitter. It'll be it'll make more sense than just making a video especially when i just talk this fucking this way 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 fucking too much uh about such a simple topic i was just thinking before i started this video i was like yeah this video will take like four minutes tops that's it and now here i am at the 15 ish minute mark and i'm just talking bullshit all the time so we're gonna leave it at that that's just the progress update on the build i've got the case i've got the os solid state drive i've got the ram at the moment another part or two coming soon and then everything after that unfortunately i have to stick with this i won't even call it a piece of crap i mean it's still a 2600k gtx 690 so it's eh, relatively powerful it, it does me for the moment at least anyway yeah that's pretty much it so let me know uh, your opinions on the upcoming system if you think if you have a, a better recommendation on a, say like a board or a better recommendation on anything you let me know i'd be curious to research and just do some some yeah english failing me at the moment uh yeah it'll be much easier and i can do some some comparisons with it that way and weigh out some pros and cons it might even get me a, a better build or anything in the long run so let me know all that kind of shit in the comment section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button you can follow me on twitter details in the description below thank you for watching and i'll see you in the rest of the videos in my channel